Hi everyone, I'm Cindy Lawrence. Today I'm gonna read this book called My Brother and Me. Well, if you haven't seen my channel yet, you can you can search it and try to subscribe for more videos like this. I'm gonna start now. My brother and me. My name is Alosh and I'm the youngest person in my family. But when people call me the baby, it makes me mad. I say to my grandma, I am Alosh, I am a person. Please don't call me the baby anymore. My grandma just laughs and pats me on the head. Being the youngest in the family is good and bad at the same time. Sure, everyone in your family spoils you, but when you express your opinion about anything, they just laugh and pat you on the head. They don't take you seriously just because you're young. My brother Ramis is much older than me. He graduated from college and works at an engineering company. Ramis is my favorite person in the whole world. Every day on his his way to work, he drops me off at school. When he goes to the gym to play basketball, he takes me with him. And when the game is over, he teaches me how to hold the ball and shoot it over the hoop. On weekends, he sometimes drives my friend Hamude and me to watch a movie at the mall. He buys us popcorn and soda, and after the film is over, he brings us back home. What I enjoy most is when Ramis lets me watch a soccer game with him and his friends. I shout and cheer with them and feel that I'm grown up too. But lately Ramis seems different. I don't know why. He spends most of his time in his room talking and laughing on the telephone. And if I come in, he motions me to leave. He spends a long time in the bathroom before he leaves the house. He shaves and puts gel on his hair. He changes his hairstyle 10 times before he certifies. Then he puts cologne on his chin and neck. These days, Ramis is always busy. When I ask him to help him with my homework, he saves and saves. I'm busy, Arlo. I have an important with someone very important. Are you going to the dentist? I ask. Ramis laughs and pats me on the head. This makes me so mad that I turn my back to him. I complain to Baba. I don't understand why Ramis is always too busy to do things with me. Baba laughs. When you're older, you understand. One day, I heard Mama ululating. Lulu, Lulu, I'm over the moon. Ramis is getting angry. I can feel my will slowly crumble and fall apart. Ramis is getting engaged. To who and why? And is he going to move out of the house and leave me? Ramis says. Come here, Alosh. I want to show you a picture of my fancy. Everyone gathers around Ramis. What a lovely girl. What's her name? What's her family name? Where does she live? What's she studying? Her name is Dima and she's a third year entering student. Ramis replies, To be honest, I don't find her sweet or pretty and decide not to like her. Wasn't she taking my brother Ramis away from me? Everyone in the house is busy with Ramis' engagement and the family Jaha. Ramis tells me that a Jaha is when the man of the family visits the bride-to-be's house to formally ask for her hand in marriage. Mama says, Alosh is too young to go to the engagement ceremony. ceremony. But Ramis insists I come along with the man. I proudly put on a suit and tie and 
climb up into the car with my fathers and uncles. After the Jaha, Ramis is even busier than before. I don't get to see him at all. He doesn't have any time to take me to the ball with Hamode or to shoot basketball or, or, and all because of Dina. A few days later, Mama says excitedly, Tomorrow evening, Dima's family is coming to dinner. We need to get everything ready. Mama makes a list of all the things she needs from the supermarket and come and ask me, me to come with her to help. When we get back, Mama and Grandma start preparing all sorts of dishes. Tabule, hummus, spinach fruit pastries and many others. All these for Mrs. Dima. I complain but no one pays any attention. As I leave the room, Mama says, Don't forget to wear your best outfit to welcome Dima and her family to our house. We were so happy before Ramis met Dima. I say to myself sadly. Finally, Dima and her family arrive. The room is a buzz with chatter and laughter, but when I come in, everyone stops talking and looks at me in a arrangement. Alof, Rami says angrily, why are you wearing your dirty soccer uniform? Don't you know we have guests? Mama exclaims. Where did you get these clothes from? Alof, from the laundry basket, I say differently. Everyone laughs. Dima says, no worries, let him wear whatever he likes. But Ramis is furious me, me and Mama sends me to my room to change. The second time Dima visits us, she asks for a glass of water. I tell my mother that I'll bring it, but when I get close to Dima, I stumble and spill the glass of water all over her. Dima jumps to her feet. Ramesh shouts at me, Alosh, look at the mess you made. Dima wipes her shirt with a towel. Mama gives her and says, No problem, these things happen. Please, don't be angry at Alosh, Ramesh. It was an accident, right, Alosh? I look down at my shoes and mumble. Sorry, I didn't mean to. My plan to drive away, to drive Dima away from Ramesh wasn't working. That night, I toss and turn in bed trying to hatch a new plan. Finally, the perfect idea comes to me and I fall fast asleep. On Dima's third visit to our house, I give her a gift wrap box. Dima says, a gift for me from Alosh. What a nice surprise. But when Dima opens the box, she screams. She laughs. Alosh likes practical jokes. Where did you find the mouse? He's not a mouse, I answer. He's a hamster, and he lives in a cage in my room. Did he scare you? Yes. Dima says, I was a little bit scared at first, but I love animals. Does your hamster have a name? His name is Nafnuf, I say. Dima thinks for a moment. It's a strange name for a hamster, she says, but I like it. Alosh, can I help you put your hamster back in his cage? I hesitate, but I bring Dima to my room. We put Nanu back in his cage and we watch him run on his wheel. After that, I show Dima my collection of toy cars. I show 
and after we play a video game on my computer. That's when Ramesh comes looking for Bima when he sees us engrossed in the game. He says, Alosh, you've stolen my fancy. Wait just a minute, Ramesh, I say excitedly. The game's almost finished. Ramesh laughs. What do you think of Dima now, Alosh? He asks. I smile. Not bad. I say shyly. Dima hugs me and says, Alosh, you're the greatest. Would you be my little brother? I always wanted one. Hmm, I say, hugging her. I'll think about it. Now, whenever the doorbell rings, Ramis and I raise each other to greet Dima. She laughs and says, Hello to the two handsomest young men in town. The end.